all their stuff. All right, yo, there's so much exploring we have to do, but I just want to make sure there's like not like a homeless guy. Dude. The door is open. Oh my god. Hello. Good to see you. The door just opened on its own. Dude, I caught that on camera. What? Yeah. That door just opened completely by itself. Now what we're going into is an old abandoned house. The owners actually died. So we're, we're gonna get way into this. We're gonna get into all the history, we're gonna get into everything as we get there. There's so much to explain, you don't wanna miss this video. But like I said, this road, like we can walk it, but we actually have a small car that can fit everyone. Like, apparently we can fit everyone. Apparently that this is the driveway to the actual house. Look at this, there's not a sign. You wouldn't even know that this is a driveway. Unless you're a super cool explorer who maybe discovered it. There she blows, boys. The house of sick, we're calling it. You would never find this, ever. No one would ever know where this is. Like, seriously, it's completely in the middle of nowhere. All right, we're moving in. This is like the house in Resident Evil 7, which I just beat. Ow, oh, I got hit by thorns. Jeez, look, you can tell no one has been here forever. The grass is overgrown, like, I don't even know what all this stuff is. But interesting thing in you know what it is is the reason why this house is abandoned because the owners died that's why this place is called the house of sick um, they, were, they didn't have kids at least living here it was just you know elderly couple um, the woman ended up dying first and then it was the man this place has been hidden and really honestly no one really knows about this place ever it's a super proper spot completely in the middle of nowhere like I said before Got some birds right there a lot of black mold and things inside here, so I got my mask. I'm properly prepared for this. Oh, they even had a greenhouse. Look at this. Oh, this is gonna be an amazing video to film. This is crazy. All their stuff is still here. We haven't been inside yet. What do you think that's for? It's a blade. For what? Gardening. Gardening? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, everything they own is here. I'm so I guess they didn't have kids or anything to take their you know belongings out when they died. The heck? Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. It was a dog. A door just opened. Shh, on the phone. It just moved again. Yo, we haven't even we, it was haunted. Dude, I actually think it is haunted. You're screwing me now. No, I know all the best Hang on, dude. Demons, dude, guys, for real. That's freaking me out. Hello, spirit. Yeah. Hello, Anna. Oh, dude, spiders. Shh. Don't be afraid. It's just us. You want me to go first? This is first haunted experience. <laughs> dude. Oh, it's all good. Nah, dude, that's really freaking me out. Do you think someone's here? All their stuff, all right, yo, there's so much exploring we have to do, but I just wanna make sure there's like, not like a homeless guy. Dude. The door is open. Oh my God. Hello. Good to see you. The door just opened on its own. Dude, I caught that on camera. Yeah. That door just opened completely by itself. Why? Is there any wind over here to make it? I mean, it could be the wind, but that was insane. All right, that's one sign of maybe something possibly haunted, guys. Maybe, I'm not gonna say it is, I don't wanna, oh my God, <laughs> what the hell? The house of sick could really maybe be haunted. I don't know. We're gonna talk about something because we have two people with us that wants to do a ghost paranormal adventure here in this um, house. But I'm gonna talk about it after. I wanna go through the house first. I want you. Guys, I wanna do a tour through it. Okay, we're back where we started because the door freaked us out. So I wanted to start in each room and go over it. We found what it could be. I don't know. I guess possibly. Yeah, it looks like blood. It could be rust. I don't know. But it looks like it's even on the walls. Someone got slashed. 
Man, I'm getting bad vibes even being in this house. <laughs> you will do. This place is awesome though. It's one of our favorites. Yeah, it looks, yeah, this is one of my favorites already. Is that the owner? I don't think so. She, uh... Maybe just family. That, that should be her underneath. Oh, that's the owner? Okay. That's her right there. Like I said, there's a great picture of her right there on the wall. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna just go through this whole place. Right. Yeah. And we'll do our thing. Yeah. While you do that. Of course, you know, the, the UK, gotta have your tea, guys. <laughs> wow, this is really cool. Everything is still here. All their cooking supplies and herbs and spices. This is literally why I like to come to the UK rather than the US because they have so much stuff still left and it's super old. It's really preserved. That's not good. Oh, look at that. You got the VHS. We own this house. Help me. Got some food left. Oh, God, don't breathe that in. Yo, gunpowdered mustard. There's, aw, there's nothing in it. Cooks matches. No. Oh, coca. Gotta get your hot chocolate. I dare you open that peanut butter jar. Where is it? Right on the toaster. No, I don't even want to touch it, dude. They're laughing at me trying to open it. I'm scared. Go for it. Yeah, you open it, Cody. You want to get your peanut butter. You want to know what 15 year old <laughs> peanut butter looks like? There you go. I'm allergic to peanut butter, bro. Especially 15 year old. Oh! Another thing I want to see was their bathroom. I know when the, the guy died. When? Alright, Bucky just found invest and investigated. That the guy died in 2003. Boom, boom. Got the toothbrushes still here. Just think about how hidden this place is. Their house went abandoned in 2003 when they died. And yet, no one knew about this place this long. Wait, what'd you see? What'd you guys see? The guy's ashes are upstairs. Oh, the owner. found him, yeah. Yeah, his urn's oh. upstairs. Wait, so what'd you tell everyone? Yo, Bucky, when did... Been there looking up in the bedroom and saw this thing and thought I'll have a look in it. It's actually the guy's ashes. It tells you when the date, the actual month, the day. So the year what's he the year and everything he died it's in? 2003. I'll show you now. Oh, nice. Well, I, I zipped it back up for the back because I obviously didn't want to mess with him. Oh, of course. It's good to just. Yeah, that's why I, I love investigating. But yo, you can tell that they didn't have any other family. The, 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 the guy's ashes is here. Well, no think, family members must have came here. They, 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 they didn't take nothing here. Their ashes are still here. They would have took the ashes. You know they had no one else alive. It was just the guy, enough. The guy passed away, and obviously the woman lived here because obviously the ashes were here. Yo, well, who put her portrait there? Yeah, so this is the woman before she died. That's the same bear. The same bear before she died right here. Dude. That is that is actually really scary, but sad at the same time. Yeah, but I want to actually hide this. I don't want to. Leave. It's out on display. Uh, can yeah, yeah. For our investigation tonight, uh, we'll put it back before we leave. Right. I want to make sure I hide it, not just put it back, because I don't want someone. Coming yeah. In. yeah, there's other explorers that might take someone's ashes. How stupid it is, it's but. It's not that. Someone might smash it. You get people ashes. who graffiti and stuff like that. Ashes. Yeah. Yeah, smash yeah them. I agree. We're on the second floor, by the way, guys. Bro, see, exactly like this. Whoever spray painted someone's portrait that they painted is just as stupid enough to smash the ashes. That's ridiculous. Dude, they're doing a complete investigation right here. So that means the place was actually abandoned in 2005 then. Yeah. And the girl died in 2005 and the husband died first. It's been abandoned for 13 years. And what's is that? that? Is that a no, I think that's like old, like an old, I don't know. Are there hearing aids? Or, yeah, free earrings or hearing aid, right? But that's Damn, not that's crazy. Office. This house is super rare. It's a gem. So, I don't know if... Well, why would her and his ashes be here? There must have been someone else here or something. Family member been living here. With him. But I don't know why... This is, yeah. That's good. 
Guys, obviously we don't know much about this as, as anyone else would when they come to this house. That's because it's it's not it's not like a property, it's not like a Walmart, it's not a place that goes online. It's just someone's house. Like if I if like you know my mom died in a random house, there's not gonna be articles or history about the house, right? It's just it's just that's it. And that's similar to this. There's nothing on it. There's really no history of nothing. The children's what, ashes? Oh, yeah, the child's ashes. What do you mean? I think Terry and Anne is the old man and the woman. Yeah. And Andrew's the child. The child? Yeah. Then how old was the kid? Don't know, but Terry and Anne are the, the, the actual, the parents. Yeah, I knew it was called Terry. So that, that Andrew, that Andrew is That's... the child. Well, but that, it doesn't say when they died in anything, no? It's no, just, I don't know what language that is. It just says 2003. Yeah. Attempt for the first second. This is unbelievable. I've never had to investigate and look through a house that I had no idea about. But also to know that the, the bear is right here where the, the mom was. Look at all their shoes though, but all that dust and debris is just on top of them all. That's pretty insane. If you can see, the sun is coming down now. It's pretty much gone. We're now in the woods, in the dark. Well, somebody does come by every now and then. And, uh, and I don't know, something about this house I don't like. Man, to be fair, this place has been ransacked by thieves. You know, people who do the explore here definitely probably came in and took some things. But, I mean, we're still here. And obviously we don't take anything, but it just sucks that it's not as preserved that it could have been if I would have came like a year ago. But still, a complete hidden gem, and I know people are going to be searching to find this place all over my video, like other UK explorers. It's, I mean, look at it. Everything's just still, you know, here on the shelves. Last but not least, we're in the kitchen. <laughs> For a second, I thought this was like a Harry Potter wand. Just a really dark knife. Reduced sugar frosted flakes. I've never even seen... Like, there's not even Tony the Tiger on this. It's either just super old, I've never seen it, or it's just because it's a UK brand. Because it says Morrison's on it, that's a, like a grocery store here. It's a really small kitchen that's just super compact. Yeah, and another thing about the UK, everyone, is I know in the US it's the same, but everyone, they love their jellies. And with their bread, and yeah, their jams. <laughs> Proper small little kitchen. All right, we pretty much covered it. All right. Got some bugs in here. Oh my God, that's a huge freaking spider. Bring close this. Oh, just looking down under me, creeping, creeping me out like something's crawling on me. What the heck? I did not even notice this from. I went upstairs. To, to tell you guys something. What I came up to was a whole nother room. Everyone's in the kitchen right now just talking. I was like, eh, I'm going to keep on exploring a bit. See if I missed anything. And sure enough, I missed their, um, their art room. I mean, they're drawing a ton of stuff here. We do have two beds. Well, they were a massive artist though. Look at this. They were doing tons of work. I love these little pots. They look really cool. There's something in this. Some kind of green water. But even this, all this stuff looks really cool. I have no idea. What is this?
Oh, it's paint. I figured it could have been paint. Either there's a freaking animal in here, or I don't know what that was. Whatever. We're going to talk about something, guys. So, if you notice that we're with two other people in here, there was a guy and a girl. Definitely not the people you usually see in my videos. So these guys are a paranormal YouTube channel. They do investigations. I'm not saying... Uh, I guess I'm not saying ghosts aren't real. But obviously you guys know on my channel, I never once ever really, you know, sometimes things happen. Like the door that opened in this video. Sometimes I posted videos where I ran from stuff. You know, really basic, like run, like... Because like things did happen. And I don't know if ghosts are really real or not. I don't know anything about it. I usually, every time I see a video, I'm like, no, that's not real. That's not real. I say it every time. And to be honest, 100%, those are videos you see when ghosts and stuff happen, they're not real on YouTube. None of them are. But I'm with people who claim paranormal things really do happen. These guys are a whole channel based off of paranormal activity things, like investigations. And there's tons of channels on the internet and YouTube about that. I think we have Ghost Hunters on TV. We have tons of stuff. So I'm with these people and I'm so open-minded because it's like, what if, right? You don't, We all say ghosts aren't real, but what if? Now, I'm still like 100%. I don't know if anything's going to happen, but they want to do, they're here because they want to do something for their channel on this place, and they already previously done things on their channel on this place. I, don't, I, don't to, I mean, I don't really believe anything, but I'm here because I want to film this place, and I want to add this in my video, not because maybe, yeah, all right, Halloween's coming. I probably should add like a cool video in here, but I mean, spooky things have already been happening, and this place is really cool, and they actually brought me to this place. So they had, they had this location. It's their gem. But... They're gonna do something, I'm gonna film it, and I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna add it in here. If things happen, I'll be, <sighs> I hope so, because maybe I do wanna believe ghosts are real, that means heaven's real, right? That means there's an afterlife, which makes me feel a bit better inside. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Yeah. So tonight here at the House of Sick, we're actually standing in a room where I've experienced poltergeist activity. No lie, on this chair here, I had my bag and it actually got lifted off the chair and this was only a couple months ago. Let's have a listen back and see if it, uh, Anne communicated with you. What? What is this? Okay. You coughed. I am standing behind you. Nah. Dead serious. Listen, right. listen. It's gonna be behind my voice and it's gonna go, I am standing behind you. Ow. No? Listen, play it for your camera. Let me, see. Let me hear this. I kind of do hear that. It, it does sound like behind. I do hear, but I do hear a behind you. Can it go louder? Uh, not on this. Unfortunately, it's on full blast. But have a listen to. It's behind my voice. It goes. I am standing behind you. You guys be the judge of that and what you've seen. This is where me and my crew are sleeping. Uh, pretty much tomorrow we're doing one abandoned mansion and then the next day we're heading off to Romania where the trip really starts. These are kind of just like vlogs and catch-ups on spots I didn't get to do. Um, yeah, so I ended up just coming home, taking a shower, and now I'm just chilling. Um, I thought about everything that happened and still, after that evidence I got from the bang that I seen by the stairs, from the, the EVPs that I did catch, I'm still not there yet. Our mind will trick us and make us think that this is real. And like, and once you hear these sounds, then you only can only hear what you think you heard over and over and over again. And then some people can switch and be like, no, I heard this. And then, okay, maybe you did hear that. And you know, it's really hard to prove if ghosts are real or not. And <clears throat> from, that was my first time ever doing anything like that. And yeah, sure, I did hear those EVPs and they do sound legit, but it's still not a clear enough evidence. It's still not enough to you know, prove that, all right, yeah, that was a ghost or whatever, you know what I mean? I, I would like to do another one or maybe two or three until I can get some better, stronger evidence. But until then, that's the only one I got. Obviously, I don't fake anything. So if we did actually catch something on YouTube or, uh, you know, for the camera for YouTube, then yo, then d yeah, then this is, that means it's real. You know what I mean? Like, I just want, I'm just looking for more of a hello or hey, or, you know, something crazy, some proof. Like, hey, uh, take that heat. You're, you, you know, put your armor on this and make it hot. And then maybe that 
heat detection thing would show it. Like if I asked the ghost to do it, would he do it? You know, things like that or bang three times. So if I knock, I want the, go the ghost to bang three times. Anything, you know, like the guy that I was with, he said that, oh, that happened to him many times. But like, I, I don't believe it because I need to see it for myself. So yeah, this is a long video to just talk about, but this is something I've always wanted to cover and talk about and try to do. So I'm not done with this kind of thing yet. I would like to go to another abandoned place along the lines or somewhere down the line and do it again because I would like to see for sure if it's real. So guys, this is just another video. Could be one of many to come on this kind of video. So thanks again for watching. Rise above. Just got to explore peace and thanks for watching.